I couldn't receive that. Do you think I could? <laughs> I couldn't receive Do you think I could? that in the office. With the red lace. <laughs> glasses on, them trouble glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <coughs> As you can see, we did it. We actually did it. We're gonna stop actually talking about it now because we finally done it. Yeah. But let us in, let us embrace this moment, and you're gonna hear about it a lot today. Yeah. And then yeah, today. going forward. Yeah, we'll probably going forward. It's over. It's over. No, we're, more, no more, We need that one million chase because we're here now. Yeah. We're, here. we're not. Uh, we're not asking for anything yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah. You guys can do what you want. Now. Yeah. You man can do what yeah. you want apart from unsubscribe. Facts. But yeah. <laughs> One million YouTube subscribers, guys, it happened. Let's wow. give ourselves a round of applause. Let's Yay. Go. Let's go. Well Let's done, guys. Go. We well actually done, did it. We smashed it. Mm. I'm so over the moon. Same. I'm Same. so over the moon, Same. guys. Same. Um, so like to give a little bit of uh, context, actually what we'll do is we'll do our uh, cheeky shot first. Let's, let's, um, let's. Let the chest get warm and then we'll Same. get emotional. And then I'm probably going to do like two or three this episode mm. um, because I'm super happy. Okay. Right, guys. Thank you very, very much. Cheers, Cheers to, to you. you all. Cheers to you. Um, Cheers, my bro. You guys are the best. Cheers, bro. Cheers. And uh, Cheers. yeah, man. Cheers. Let's do this. Bottoms up and all that. I wonder why the phrase is called bottoms up. Because it's the bottom of the thing goes up. It's literally <laughs> the most <laughs> obvious phrase. Oh. Anyone has ever Fair, made? I'm right. sorry, bro. Yeah, that suckled me. That was an L for you. It was. <laughs> let's, let's move on. One million, right? <laughs> <laughs> makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense. I, oh it. I just God. say stuff. Fair. I love your innocence, yeah, Fiat. I'm not even going to lie to you. Yeah. I love your innocence, bro. Someone's got to be, man. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's got to be. Right. I'm going to run back a second right now. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't like spacing them out that much. I'd rather just yeah. get the juicy going now yeah. and then like let it like ride let, away. Yeah, let it ride yeah, the way yeah. throughout. Otherwise, oh. because when we used to do it back in the day, mm. we used to do these like crazy yeah. and then my throat would hurt. Mm. I started getting hot. Mm. You didn't know what yeah, I wanted. Yeah, yeah. I started getting hot and dizzy and all this kind of stuff. And by the end of the hot thing, I was dizzy. absolutely wasted. Yeah. Um, so it's good to just do two or three in the, in the beginning moment. and then just let it ride out. Well done, G. Thank safe, you. Safe, 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 safe. Cheers. Oh. If you're new here, what me and Fia just did is what is commonly known in the cult baby community as a tequila sip sip. Yes, sir. We haven't spoke about it in a very long time. Yes, sir. Um, shot of pineapple. A shot of tequila, shot of tequila followed shot of by a shot of yeah. pure pineapple juice. Yeah. It's the best thing anyone's ever invented in the alcohol game. And yeah, um, yeah we claim it. <laughs> we do actually. We claim it. it. There's controversy about who invented we it. started it. it. Yeah. Right. We claim it. And the fact of the matter is I want to be open. We know we didn't invent it because yeah. it got introduced <laughs> to us in the first place. Facts. But we claim it. Facts. Yeah, man. We're colonizers. Yeah, we yeah. just come here and claim <laughs> stuff, stuff. Start planting flags and taking it. Facts. Because we can. Yeah. Because we've got a million subs. Right, we Who's going to tell us off? We are those guys now. Yeah, yeah. Who are you going to believe? <laughs> Craig David or us? Facts. How many subs has he got? Facts. Probably more, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> How many does he actually have? Pull it up, pull it up. Yeah, he probably has a lot, but he's 400 years old, so <laughs> who cares? Oh, 918K, is that what it says? Shut up, blood! Hey, we coined yeah, it. On, we man. invented it, oh, man. No, man, that's Arctic. Uh, that's 918, Arctic. what's that? Oh, we, I remember that. Yeah, I remember. I remember 918. I remember my first video. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to be like dickhead James today. Yeah, I could tell. Yeah, you. I'm on my flex. Where's my sunglasses? <laughs> Fuck Hang off. on. <laughs> what, what was it saying? Yeah, I remember my first video. <laughs> so I'm evil James today, okay? Because you got a million subs? I'm evil James today. I'm a flex on all I of you. I can tell, G. We love to hear it. We love to see it. Let's go, man. <clears throat> yeah, man. So guys, we did it. We're we gassed. Did, we we did, hit a million subscribers on YouTube. Mm. And for me, this means literally everything. I know it means everything to everyone. But yeah. um, like to take it all the way back, mm. I'm going to give props to my boy, Lewis, again. Okay. This dream for me personally, mm. literally started like five years ago, six years ago. Okay. And I've said this on here before, but like, as everyone knows, if you've been here for a minute, you know, like my like financial dream, obviously loads of people always want to like retire their mom or retire mm -hmm. their dad or mm -hmm. like buy someone a house. Like my dream has always been like, I want to buy my dad an Aston Martin. Mm -hmm. He can afford whatever flipping car he wants, yeah. but that's the car he's never, Got. Just got a shell he loves it yeah, and yeah, he's yeah. never got it and i don't yeah. know why yeah db9 was his favorite i don't know if that's still the case but mm. 
He used to love the DB9. It was his favorite car. He never got it. And I used to say to him when I was little, I'm gonna buy that for you. I'm mm. gonna buy that for you. And as you know, if you've been here for a while, my dad only respects money. Yeah. He doesn't respect blood. Money, money or loyalty. And power. Yeah, he doesn't respect <laughs> blood or loyalty. He respects money. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, until your money's up, yeah. shut, shut up. Shut up, Facts. Yeah, 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 you're in my pocket. Facts, my yeah. back pocket at that. Yeah, 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 I sit on you, pause. <laughs> Um, so anyway, I was like, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy mm. it. So there was a time where me and my brother had moved both of us through uh, a breakdown of simultaneous relationships, had moved out of our respective homes with our partners back into my mum's, mm. And it happened around about the same time. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden we're in our 20s. We're living back at mum's. I'm working at David Lloyd in Milton Keynes. And he was working for Volkswagen in Milton Keynes. Yeah. So because we're broke boys, as broke boys do is we would carpool. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we'd yeah, carpool yeah, yeah, and we'd yeah, drive yeah. in and we'd take it in turns as to who drives and we'd yeah. drive into Milton Keynes together from Northampton every day. And we'll just talk and talk and talk. Mm -hmm. And one thing I love about my brother is, my brother is um, logical as hell. Mm -hmm. My brother's the most logical person in the world. He doesn't entertain fantasies. Mm -hmm. And I'm Mr. Fantasy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm only about the fantasy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I used to say, bro, I'm gonna be so rich. Da, yeah. da, 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 da. And he's like, yeah, shut up. Yeah. And then <clears throat> I used to say, we were um, in Newport Pagnell, um, which is a small town outside of Milton Keynes. There is a Aston Martin dealership. Okay. And it's banging. Mm -hmm. And we drove past it and I was like, bro, I can't wait to buy dad this Aston Martin when my money's up, da, 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 da. And then, my brother being my brother, couldn't tolerate it anymore and turned to me and said, big man, no offense. Like I, I like this energy you're giving, mm. but where do you think this money's coming from? Mm. And I was like, obviously I was working at sale, in sales at the time. Okay. And I was like, <clears throat> obviously bro, like I'm gonna perfect my sales game here at David Lloyd. Yeah. And I'm gonna move, I'm probably gonna get a sales job in London selling tech. Yeah. And my money's gonna be up. Yeah. And he's like, cool. Best case scenario, how much do you think you're gonna be making? Mm -hmm. And I was like, bro, back then, like my aspirations, I didn't have, I couldn't quantify money like that. Yeah. And I was like, mm, I don't know, like 100K a mm -hmm. year. And he was like, bet, good answer. Mm -hmm. Good answer. Because if you did get a job in central London doing sales, chances are, if you're, if you're doing well, you would make 100 grand a year. And I was like, let's okay. go. Gucci can, Gucci can, Gucci can. Yeah. And he was like, how much do you think an Aston Martin costs? Yeah. I was like, I don't know, bro, like 200K. Mm -hmm. And he said, good answer. <laughs> yeah. It does cost 200K. Yeah. So if your entire salary before tax is 100K a year, on what planet do you think you're saving 200 grand mm. to buy someone else mm. a car? Mm. Fam, when I say my head exploded, <laughs> yeah. and I was a competent human being. <laughs> yeah. I was a competent yeah, he grown you down ass. To earth. I was a grown ass man. Yeah, he brought me back down to earth. He drapes me down to earth, and yeah. I was like, "Big man, this is never gonna happen." Yeah, like I, this actually, this thing that I've been talking about since I was five, mm. I'm now 25, and I'm mm. realizing this is never, ever, ever gonna happen. Mm. And I physically couldn't stand the humiliation. Yeah, and I like, like, this is a dream I've had since I was a kid. Yeah. You're basically telling me Santa's not real to yeah. my face as a grown ass man. Yeah. And I've already learned that Santa's not real. I was mm. certain this was real. Mm. And you're telling me now this is not happening for mm. me. And then he was like, this is just life, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry, yeah. but you're not buying anyone anything. You're not buying yourself an Aston Martin. You're, not, you're sure as fuck not buying dad an Aston Martin. Yeah. And just come back to reality because it's boring now. Mm -hmm. It's Wednesday morning, we're driving to Milton Keynes, it's cold and it's boring. Just chatting. Yeah. yeah, let's listen to Radio 4, <laughs> sharp. Yeah. And just get, because this is our lot. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we've got. James, this is our lot. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I know you had dreams, yeah. but this is our lot. Yeah. And me being me, I was like, Fuck that. Yeah. Like, no, 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 no. And I've always been mm. the kind of person that's like, I'm going to be rich. Mm. I promise you that now because I can't not be. Because mm. my personality just doesn't reflect. Facts, facts. It doesn't reflect like I, yeah. I don't doesn't reflect broke. Yeah, boy, I don't like, spend less, I make more. Facts, Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, I don't, yeah, my personality yeah, yeah. doesn't reflect that mm. kind of, mm. yeah. It just, mm. I can't mm. run. So eventually I don't know how it's gonna happen, but going to make money. Yeah. I don't know how. And I rolled into work that day uh, into David Lloyd, into my sales office, and my boy Lewis was sat opposite me. I sat down. Oh, I sat down a huffed, bro. Mm. I fucking sat down on a huffed. And he was like, what's up? Mm. Uh, what's up? What's going on? 
Um, right, that's chapter one. I'm gonna take one more shot and then we're yeah. gonna get into chapter two, cool. okay? Yeah. Pause. So I've I landed in David Lloyd, I've huffed, and he's saying, what's wrong? <laughs> and he's saying, what's wrong? What's going on? So welcome back to chapter two, guys. Right, so to set the scene, I've just gone into David Lloyd, heartbroken. Yeah. <laughs> Collapsed on a yeah, chair. I've made oh. it into work in my yeah. uniform yeah, yeah, of yeah. all things. Yeah. Um, collapsed on the chair, my heart's broken, and my dreams are shattered. Yeah. Santa's not real, and how am I gonna deal? Yeah. So I sit down, Lewis is sat opposite me, he's like, What's up, man? And I'm like, bro, do you know what's actually mad? Mm. And he was like, What? And I was like, you know how I always bang on about like, and bearing in mind, me and Lewis are equally deluded. Yes. So this Aston Martin chat, yeah. he was here for it because mm. he was chatting Lambos. Mm. So we was we used to just ping pong back and forth about bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Consistent bullshit yeah. that was never gonna happen. Mm. Um, and so I sat down, I'm disheartened, my dreams are crushed, and he said, "Bro, what's going on?" I said, "Bro, you know how I've been talking about Aston Martin, my dad, Aston Martin, my dad." Mm. He's like, "Ofs," and I was like, "I've just had a chat to my brother, and like, it's actually not gonna happen." And I love our little delusional Dreamland. ping pong yeah. and our banter, but like, I'm actually deep in it for now. Like, it's really not gonna happen. Mm. And I explained like what I'd said to my brother, my brother had said to me in terms of like, bro, like what if we leave here and we get a sick job doing sales here and we, we get a sick job here and we get a promotion there, da 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 da. It's like, we're not gonna be making a million a year. Yeah. Like we're, we're really gonna be making like a hundred grand a year and that's banging, mm. but that's not super car chat. Like, and it's really not. Mm. And that's the best we're ever gonna get. Mm. Mm. And it's also gonna be a butters commute into London yeah. every day. Mm. And it's also gonna be like, just grim, like, because it's all it's all well and good talking about this rich guy sales chat, but let's be real, mm. sales is disgusting mm. and I hate it and we both hate it. And we can talk all this flex chat all we want, but the reality is, is I hate it. Yeah. I hate it here. I hate working. You hate working. This is shit. Yeah. And all we talk about is getting out of here, but all we talk about is getting out of here to go to the next office. And I hate it and I can't stand it and I don't want to do it. And bro, I was like, all of a sudden, like, all this hype, boisterous, stupid chat that we used to dream about that used to get us through the day had all like plummeted into dust. Mm. I was like, this is the reality where I'm at, bro. Like, this is bullshit. And like, I'm so heartbroken. I could, I could literally cry. Damn. Bro, it was, the, honestly, at that time, it was the darkest day of my life. And it Damn. sounds stupid for the, something as petty as not buying your dad a supercar yeah, yeah, to be yeah, the yeah. darkest day of your life. But mm. I was honestly like, I'm so certain I was gonna be rich. And now I'm mm. only realizing that it's, it's impossible for me. Mm. And a hundred grand for a lot of people is rich. Like we did the the stats that time, like yes, what is 103 yes, yes, grand yes, or whatever is yeah, like yeah. top 1%. Yeah. And it's like, I can be in the top 1% and I'm still not gonna be able to get dad that car. Mm. Um, and that's never gonna happen for me. Mm. And I was like, now I'm just gonna have to reassess my life goals. Like, what the fuck am I even doing? Mm. If I'm not gonna be doing that, then why would I even go to London? Why would I even do this sales job? I might as well just be a fucking PT forever. Mm. I might as well just do something that's like doable, entertainable. Like, why would I even bother chasing money if, if, if I can't use money to get what I want? Like, what's the point? Bro, the whole thing was, the whole shift was me spiraling down. Yeah. And then man was like, do you know who's got it good? And I was like, who's got it good? And he was like, bro, YouTubers. Mm. And I was literally like, First of all, shut up. Mm -hmm. Like literally shut up. I'm pouring my heart to you talking about YouTube. Bro, yeah. I'm, I'm giving you everything that's <laughs> yeah. burdening me. Yeah. And you're saying YouTubers have it good. Yeah. yeah. And shit is brown, bro. <laughs> Sky is blue. Like, why are you chatting rubbish to me? Yeah. And he was like, nah, bro. He was like, to be fair, like, I understand where you're coming from. Like, I've wanted to be a YouTuber since I was like nine years old. Mm. And like, I used to make a YouTube account stream like Minecraft or stream like- This is Lewis saying Lewis. this. Lewis. Okay. He was like, I used to make a YouTube account. I'd stream like, not stream, but like he would, uh, back in the day, they would do like cuts, like uh, screen record. Mm. There was screen recording voiceover. Before mm. there was Twitch and streaming and stuff, it was screen recording voiceover stuff and just mm. like getting like a flipping 25 kill streak on- COD. COD. Yeah. Old school COD. Mm. Like World War II COD. <laughs> yeah. Um. And then like, he was like, I used to do that and I would do it. And like the videos would actually get in numbers. Yeah. And he brought up his old YouTube account and it had like 200 views on this one, 300 views on that one. And I was like, bro, that's actually kind of decent. Mm. Like, that's actually 200 people. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, and I just quit and I just never did it. And I just never went back and it's all I've ever wanted to do. And I've been too scared to do it. Mm. And I was like, oh, like that's dark. And he was mm. like, bro. And I, I, I obsess about YouTube every day. And I see like the lives these YouTubers live and I watch their vlogs and I see them buying apartments in, 
in LA and he showed me this one guy and he was like, bro, this guy has an apartment in LA and it was like a vlog tour of his apartment in LA. Mm. He was like, he lives in London. He just bought this like million pound apartment in LA. He doesn't even live there. Mm. And I was like, what the fuck? And he was like, yeah, bro. And he's like, and then this is the one that clicked for me. He was like, bro, it's not even the big YouTubers that have the money. He's mm. like, just an average YouTuber, just like not even, it's not the Mr. Beast or the PewDiePie's or anything. Yeah, like yeah. It's like just an average YouTuber is making bags, bro. Mm. Like crazy bags. Yeah. And I was like, fuck, mm. like what? And then I'm getting hyped again. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting yeah. delusional again. Yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah. like, fuck, what do you mean? Yeah. And he was like, bro. And Talk then we threw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah let's and now it. we're rallying. Yeah. <laughs> we're back to Now we're rallying, bong. bro. Delulu and I was like, what are you on about? Yeah, and he's yeah. like, bro, yeah. these men are making fucking money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, swear, how much? Yeah. And he was like, bro, these men are making 10K a month, 20K, 30, 40K a month. Mm. I was like, that's impossible. Yeah. He was like, I promise you're not impossible. Look at this guy. This guy actually shares his statistics. This guy being Ali Abdal. Ali Abdal, who I shouted out a million times, just at that time had launched his first ever year in review video of how much money he made as a YouTuber. And I was like, you're winding me up. Yeah. Like, and he was like, bro, I promise you, like he's got the graph in front of you. It, it literally says how much he's making every day. Mm. And I'm like, bro, that's impossible. So we're going it, going and going and going and going. And I was like, oh, I love like, and then I was talking about like, oh, do you know what my session is? Like, I would love to be a podcaster. Like I have obsessed with podcasts. I listen to podcasts literally eight hours a day. It's all I listen to, it's all I care about and I'm obsessed with it. And he was like, bro, you could literally put a podcast on YouTube and you're a YouTuber, like you could do that. And I was yeah. like, oh, that's cool. So then after that conversation, I was like, I'm actually going to be a YouTuber now mm -hmm. because I have to buy the Aston Martin, whether it's for dad, whether it's for me, whether for whatever the fuck, I don't care. I have to buy it. Yeah. And I have to live the dream. Like Santa is real and I promise you I'm gonna do it. So from then we started scheming about how I'm gonna do it. And then we're like, what do we like? What do we do? And the podcasting thing is like, it was like a gap or two or three steps away from me because I was like, I wanna do this podcast thing, but I don't know what to do. Yeah, don't have to navigate that. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what you need. Yeah. I don't know how microphones work. Yeah. I don't know what an XLR cable is. I don't know like anything. I don't know how it works. I don't yeah. know how they're getting their voice into a microphone <laughs> to come on to like a screen. It's not making sense to me. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just gonna make videos without a microphone. Mm. So what I did was I was like, all right, cool. So I'm not gonna do a podcast because I actually don't know what to do, but I'm gonna start a YouTube channel. And he was like, gang. So I did start a YouTube channel. I just started, I didn't know anything about making YouTube videos, right? Mm -hmm. And I just made this account, started posting videos about TV and uh, film reviews like we do now. Facts. I made like five or six episodes and I was super stoked about it, but it was taking ages. Mm. And I was like, I don't want to just talk about movies and TV all the time. Mm. It's boring. Mm. I like, I love it more than anything, but I, I can't be bothered to just find things to talk about. It's just so jarring. I just want to talk about what I want to talk about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we circle back to the podcast thing. But because I've spent so long on this channel, I'm gonna say so long, I meant like a month. Mm. But because I've spent so long learning how to use this, and then the comments will say, bro, you need a microphone. You sound like shit. So I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have to get a microphone. Yeah. So then I get a microphone and I learn how to use that. And then like, your microphone's not even turned on, like learn how to do your job. Yeah. So then I learn how to turn it on. And then I learn how to use like GarageBand that you can stick this in and it will yeah. work on this. And then you learn how to use just like um, basically everything. And then everything I learned from this channel meant they're like, oh, I actually can start a podcast mm -hmm. because I've learned everything now. I've learned how to use a mic. I've yeah. learned how to use editing software. I know how to use um, everything. Like I, I, that's what they do. This yeah. is what they do. And I was like, gang, okay, cool. Like, I guess we're gonna do it. Yeah. And then I remember, obviously everyone knows the story. I begged you for months and months and months. Podcast, podcast, podcast. You yeah. were like, no, 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 no. Yeah. Then eventually you said yes. So we skip forward and then we start the channel. And here we are. With a million. Nearly four years later. True, nearly four years Took later. a minute, but yeah, we got here a million yeah. subscribers. Um, and this is all I've ever wanted because that same day in with Lewis, the same day we were there with Lewis, I remember saying, he remember saying, I remember him saying to me, a million subscribers is where it's at mm -hmm. because anyone can call themselves a YouTuber and you can make money from a 10K, mm -hmm. 20K, 30K, 100K, 150K, 250K, 400, 500K. But the biggest YouTuber on the planet will never like, turn his nose up for someone who's got a million subscribers mm. because it's impossibly hard to do. Yeah. And no one does it. Mm. And I think I checked the stats yesterday. There's like a stupid, like a good few billion YouTube accounts. Makes sense. There's a couple billion YouTube accounts and 35,000 one millions. Wow. Wow. Jesus. Wow. 
Yeah, so that's like 0.00 something percent mm. of insane. of people with YouTube channels who have One a million plus. subs. And we managed to, to yeah, slide yeah, that yeah, out. yeah. So um, we're in that category now. Perspective. Yeah, mm. and he was like, "No one can chat shit to you once you get a million. Mm. Once you get a million, there's no gray areas. You're rich, mm. and you are a YouTuber. Mm. No one can any say anything to you." So like once you get to a million, that means you've officially made it. Yeah. And I remember we've said this a couple of times before, when we started this, Fuad and I got together and we set a goals list. Yeah. And the goals list uh, had a million things on it. And I said to him, once we complete this goals list, it means we're on our way. Once we complete the second goals list, it means we've made it. Mm. And the last tick on the second goals list was a million subscribers on YouTube. What was it? Yeah. Um, and that was the day that I knew we would, I said to him, once we complete this list, yeah. we will be rich and we will have made it. Yeah. I remember, uh, I remember saying it to him because I remember as I was writing it, I was like, this is unachievable. Damn. This is unachievable. But if we ever do it, it means we've made it and we've done it. And we've, we've, made, we've been made it. We've been making it. Bro. We've been making it. Very, 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 very um, special day today. And I'm only deep in it now that we're talking about it. Yeah. Very, very, very special day. So if you're still here because I've been waffling, thank you very, very, very much because this is like everything I've ever wanted in my entire life. And to just go full circle, did I stumble into Aston Martin dealership last week? Yeah, maybe I did. <laughs> are they bringing in a brand new DB12 in a couple of weeks? Yeah, maybe they are. Have I booked myself in for a test drive? Possibly. <laughs> Say less. Is the guy's name Matt from Aston Martin Newport Pagnell? Yeah, he is. Yeah, say less. Does he have my personal email address? Yeah, he does. Say less. So yes, guys, <laughs> we hit a million and we've made it. And as a special celebration, another thing that I've always wanted was since the day we started this podcast, because this is another throwback. Since the day we started this podcast, Fu had an eye, only true, 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 like day oneers will know. The day one fans will know. Fu had and I went through drama when we started this, right? Do you man know how many episodes never went live? Mm. Because my microphone wasn't on. Oh Fu yeah. Fu's microphone wasn't on. Yeah. We're streaming away. I pref I forgot to flip in press record, record. Yeah. on I the forgot, software. I forgot about that. Like I forgot to turn the camera on. Yeah. The camera turned off halfway. Yeah. Do you man know how many times that happened? Yeah. And I had to go home, cry my eyes out when I found out then drive back to Manchester the next week when I wasn't due there for three weeks mm. because we've just been recording like seven episodes. I had to drive back there the next week to, to record again. again. Yeah. Fuad had to book more time off work. Fuad like, it was so stressful. Yeah. And we always used to talk, bro, one day we're gonna have a studio. We're gonna have a producer. We're gonna have an editor. We don't have to worry about this stuff anymore mm. because this is fucking jarring. Yeah. We've lost so many episodes by like fuck ups. Yeah. And like, one thing I'm gonna say props to you is this guy's tolerance for pain is up because I would ring him or voice note him screaming down the phone <laughs> and I'd say I'm so sorry because it was up to me mm. it was up to me and I was so sorry and he would never not once out of all the times it happens not once would this guy turn to me and be like you know what James fuck off mm. like actually fuck off like I'm so tired of this like I'm not taking any more time off work I'm not doing this I'm not giving up any of my Sundays I'm not doing this bro not once did you turn around every single time his reply would be like bro you know what it is what it is mm. it's jarring but it is what it is. Mm. And I needed that. Yeah. So bro, thank you for that. All good you. And now we have the producer and we have the editor mm. and without them, without Ellis and without Ed Rem, we would never, ever, ever, ever be where we, we are, are today. today so we have a special surprise for Ellis and Rem today, which I've been like, I haven't slept, yeah. you man. <laughs> I haven't slept. <laughs> we have a special surprise for Ellis and Rem today. So I'm gonna go get it out of my bag. You man needs to close your eyes, okay? Yeah, you do. Close your eyes and you're not allowed to peek. No peekies. <laughs> no peekies, guys. <laughs> and I'll tell you when you're allowed to open your eyes, okay? Right. All right, we're back in the room. Do not open your eyes. Mm -hmm. okay. Right, guys, so keep your eyes closed. As a thank you, guys, for getting us to where we need to be, mm -hmm. for giving up your time, your schedules, Everything. for believing in us. Facts. Because these men have, this is one thing that people don't really deep, yeah? These men have bills to pay. Yeah. Mouths to feed. Yeah, yeah. They need to come home every month with food on the table and make sure that the rent is paid, mm. the mortgage is paid. And they dropped the security that they had to come and be part of this. Yeah. 
of two guys just chatting shit for a living. And that's a massive risk to take. And it has not gone unnoticed and unappreciated. So Fu had an eye, wanna say thank you for that. Facts. And thank you for getting us to where we are. Facts. With this little gift. Hope you like it. You can open your eyes. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo. Oh shit. Bam. I don't even want to touch it. What? <laughs> open it, man. Open it, man. Open it, man. It. Open it. Yo. Fucking hell. Nah, ain't no way. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> <Ain't> no <laughs> Let's go. <way. laughs> Gucci what? gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Gucci gang, Let's Gucci gang. go. Fuck. Yo, Yo, you man got Gucci watches. Let's go. You man can never, ever, ever, ever. You can't be stepped to. That's for you guys. So that's man. our gesture to you guys to say thank you Fuck for all the hard work. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Wow. Fucking hell. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Hey, that's, that's Let's go. Jesus. Come that's on. Crazy. When did you get these? Uh, yesterday. You got them yesterday? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I picked them up yesterday anyway. Yo. Fucking hell. Thank you, fellas. You're very thank welcome. You. Gang. Shit, thank you, honestly, gang. thank you. Gang, gang, gang. What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. Let's go. Let's go. I'm thank gas. You, yeah, I'm Are you done, bro? Thank you, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you man. Wow. Um, Shit. It's been a, it's been a mad roller coaster. Cause for me, I feel like, I feel like it's one of those ones where I've always felt privileged to. First of all, I was, I was very, even though I said no from the jump, I was very privileged that you asked me to, to be on the pod and everything, or wanted to start a pod with me or vice versa or whatever. And I'm like, I wonder how it's gonna be like, because even though, yes, we laugh, we, we chat shit, we do all of this off camera. I wonder how that's gonna be perceived on camera. Yeah, because yeah. not everyone understands our, our person. Well, they do now, but at the time, not everyone understood our personality. Yeah, our yeah, banter, yeah, yeah, yeah. How we like, to, you know, so, our circle is pretty small, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was very like, hmm, is this gonna, is this just gonna be a hobby? Is this just gonna be for fun? But I, obviously I rode, I'm here now, cause clearly I rode the wave, you know? It's, it doesn't, it wasn't taking anything away from me considering I was just spending time with my boy and just chatting shit. It mm -hmm. wasn't any extra added work per se. So I'm just very, very fucking grateful, man. Because at the end of the day, I remember times in hospitality, everyone knows I bitch and moan about hospitality um, or I have for the longest whilst I was in it. And it was like, I remember Christmas periods. I remember um, times in Grill on the Market in London. I remember times in Australasia and Manchester. And I'm like, how are these men living this life on a week to week yeah, to week to week yeah, to week yeah, basis? Yeah. And I remember every single time, every single time like we chat or in the group chat, every time you man would be doing stuff, I'd be like, I can't go because I'm working every weekend. I the, remember. My FOMO was unbearable and not even just this friendship group on everything else this affected my work in hospitality affected my life in positive so many positive ways but in so many negative ways as well mm. and it's like i can't believe for one i managed to escape that and better myself as opposed to escape and just probably move in linear and still working in another restaurant or whatever do you know what i mean and it's like i like i said to you yesterday i'm not even um What's the one I'm looking for? I've not really deeped or really like acknowledged the fact we've hit one million. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not really sunk in yet. But as we're talking now and as these gifts have been brought, as we're in this space, I'm thinking, oh my fucking God. Yeah. Like, oh my yeah, fucking God. Yeah. The amount of effort and work we've all put in, like outside of this pod, we've all worked other jobs as well as doing this pod. Do you mm, know what I mean? Mm. We've all had different things to do, but we made this a priority. Yeah. And I'm so fucking happy that we all had that same goal, all that had that same mindset, all had that same drive to be like, this can work. Mm, because 100%. we all saw the trajectory, we all saw like the feedback, we all saw how, how fun it was to see other people's reactions to us. Do you know what I mean? And it was so good to see that, oh, we're getting, we're getting such, a, such a bigger fan base. And it's like, oh, we're getting DMs now, we're getting this now. It started, bro, it started from us, on absolute, what's it called? Reddit, trying to find some yeah. information. Searching. Just searching for something to say, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it wasn't our past stories, it was just searching for stuff to say. And I'm thinking, how is this gonna be sustainable? <laughs> That's all I kept thinking. <laughs> yeah. Ask me three years ago, how is this gonna be sustainable? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And look at us now, like we've got DMs that I can't even open anymore because they're, they're so full and it's like, wow, I never ever thought, I never ever, if you had asked me two and a half years ago, working in hospitality, Fuhad, where do you think you're gonna be in two and a half years? 
I'd probably say I'm probably still going to be Manchester trying to grind, probably be a GM or something like yeah, that. Yeah, and Because yeah, yeah. I was contemplating being a GM. I saw, I said this to you. Bro, I remember. I, con- I was contemplating being a GM before I was considering obviously quitting management and working on this full time. And I'm like, I wonder how different my life would have been if this was never a, a thing. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? And words honestly cannot describe how grateful I am. Honestly, like I'm feeling so emotional right now. It's unfucking believable, my guys. Unbelievable. I love you, man, to death. And you guys will never understand what you've done for me. So I love you all. And thank you guys for watching. Obviously, it's not the end of the episode, but I, <laughs> I love all of you guys, yeah, man. man. Oh, bless I'm so <laughs> emotional right now. <laughs> yeah, it's, I can tell. It's, yeah. it's overwhelming, my mm. guy. Yeah. Overwhelming. And I can't, I just can't express it so much. But yeah, I love you guys to death. Love One million is, is, is a major stone, yeah. major milestone. And yeah, man, this is, it's upwards from here. We can't, we can't go back. Oh, gang. Right, that's the soppy stuff over. Let's do it. I can't be asked for these evil James glasses. Let's yeah. do the IG question, bro. Let's. Let's get into it. Let's. Um, if you're still with us, welcome. If you're still with us, thank you. Um, let's get straight into the nitty gritty. IG question of the week was, what time, what time? One time where karma was a bitch to you. Obviously the responses were juicy as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kang. I made fun of my friend for falling off his bike. Later that day, I got hit by a car whilst <laughs> riding my bike. Raw! Yeah. I thought man was gonna say I fell over too. Nah, hit by a car whilst riding my bike. Raw, okay. Okay. I was a shit girlfriend to my ex, and now the guy I'm with treats me like a side chick. Uh, <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. <sighs> That's really upsetting. That is upsetting it's because jokes? That's karma. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's uh, unbearable karma. I threw bread at a duck and then got chased around the lake by about five to eight geese. You know that's my worst yeah. fear. <laughs> you know for a fact that's my worst fear. I know. I know. I know. That was geese so- are terrifying. Huge, Have bro. you ever been chased by a goose? No. Bro, they hiss at you. No, I They never. do this thing. Yeah, yeah, that's the they, intimidation yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the tactic. <laughs> yeah. And they hiss at you, bro. It's terrifying. No, I've not been chased by geese, bro. It's I, terrifying. I never want to be chased by yeah, a goose. Yeah, don't. One time where karma was a bitch to you, I flew into state to cheat on my girlfriend, but got mugged whilst walking to meet her at a bar. <sighs> to cheat on my g- flu. You can't even explain that to the missus. You can't. You have the lies you have to think of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To get yourself out of that situation. <laughs> Man. Brother, I got on a plane to cheat on my missus. That he's dumb in the sense of doing that anyway. What, what who what? This is the thing with what? cheating, yeah? Like cheating. Sometimes you really, 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 really like. You just don't want to be in a relationship. You just bro, don't. You just don't. You just don't. Take a look in the mirror, yeah, bro. Just and just don't. think, what am I what doing? What am I actually doing? You really don't want to be a, getting what, on a plane. plane. Yeah, come on, bro. For Tom. <laughs> come on, bro. Stop. It really. Stop. Give up. Really stop. Um, next, <laughs> I said, "Mashallah," as I sparked my spliff, and it all fell out. <laughs> That's jokes. I read that and died. Oh, man. bro. And it all just <laughs> fell out. That's too funny. Wow, God will take everything from you. Wow. Blasphemy. Factual, take away from you like that. Oh my days. It all fell out. <laughs> it's the martial arts one. Cause he knew. <laughs> yeah. That's oh. jokes. I hooked up with an enemy's girl at a party. As soon as I stepped outside, I fell and slashed both my hands. What? I fell and just slashed both my hands. An enemy's girl. Yeah, long. Wow. I got too cocky and tried a trick in front of my friends with skates on. I now have a brain injury. Right, that's stop. <sighs> I now have a brain injury. That's permanent. Yeah. Man. Oh. <laughs> I thought you meant that's how no, it was. No, 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 I don't know the severity. Yeah. All I know is he's slurring. Yeah, he's... All I know is he's slurring and someone else typed that. <laughs> I'm playing, 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 I'm playing. <coughs> That's jokes. Cheated on my girlfriend. She got a promotion. I got fired. Peak. Mm. You got really deep to your behavior to acknowledge her promotion as something, as karma for as cheating. As karma, yeah, yeah. You got a really, yeah. yeah. Sorry, innit? Yeah, facts. 
Tried to give a homeless man some money. He told me it wasn't enough. He chased me and hit me. <laughs> a homeless man. <laughs> Bro, this is why I don't give homeless yeah. people stuff. That's scary. That's terrifying. I don't, I generally don't know how I'd react if I, obviously they're always sitting down. There's like a little cup or a hat, however. I generally don't know how I react. If I'm being generous and I give a five or a tenner, and he looks at me and says, so Big that's, man, not, that's enough. not enough. And he gets to stand up. Oh, Fam, I'm, I'm I know scared. for a fact he's not saying it once and then yeah. just standing up. Facts. He'll say, bro, that's not enough. And you'll be like, what? what? Fuck? And he'll be like, that's not enough. That's not enough. And he's, and he's standing. Yo, Big yo, man, that's stop, not enough. Stop, 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 stop. I know, like, what the fuck? What's going on? That's yeah, not enough. Yeah, I'll start looking for cameras because there just, must be. Just start thumping you up. No, 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 no. I'll nah. be terrified. That's scary, bro. Because I'm just thinking AIDS. That's all I'm thinking. Facts. As soon as his skin touches my skin. Facts, they've got sign. Yeah. It's a placebo effect. You think you've got it all. <laughs> you think you've got it all. <laughs> it's a placebo effect. You touch, you touch a hobo and that's it. You've got scurvy. <laughs> placebo. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, go on. Right. I broke up with a man because he only liked missionary. He's now a millionaire. I should have stayed. <laughs> bro, bro. Can I do anything for money, you know? <laughs> He's now a millionaire. I should have stayed. That's hilarious. That's funny. <laughs> Y'all will do stuff. Bro, They'll go through stuff for bro. money. Oh, bro, wouldn't they jump? Missionary forever because he's a millionaire. <laughs> Forever. That's boring. Yeah. That's boring. That's boring. I should have stayed. <laughs> that's jokes. Oh, that's funny. Oh, I God. made fun of my friend for having really thin eyebrows. I later lost mine in a kitchen fire. Uh, that's tough. That's horrible. That is horrible. Rounders. I threw the ball with all my might to get this girl out. I dislocated my shoulder. Yeah, because rounders is one of them, isn't it? Rounders, is that your Yeah, he, it's just a little. He, he must have yeah, come around the side. Launched yeah, launched it. Bastard. Come around the side. We were in a free period, and the teacher moved my crush to stand in front of the class and said, The next person who talks would join her. I, thinking this is my moment, tried to get his attention, but ended up making such a ruckus he kicked me out of the class. That's happened to me before. Has it? Geography. <laughs> Man remembers. Yeah, geography. <laughs> I remember one time. <clears throat> People were just gunning for this flipping geography teacher. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, someone said something and then one of the other kids was like, so you're not gonna do nothing. Okay. He said, so, oh, he said a, a, kid, a kid said something to the teacher, cussing him out in some way. He said something about his haircut or his trousers or something. Okay. I can't remember what I said, but basically the kid said something to the teacher teach, and then everyone was like, ooh. <laughs> Egging it on. Yeah, ooh. Yeah. And then um, he didn't do nothing. So one of the other kids was like, sir, you're not gonna like kick him out or detention or yeah, exclude them or sighting. Yeah. And he was like, there's nothing in the rule books that says you can't make fun of a teacher. And I said, say less. And I can't remember what I said, yeah. but I must've just ran my mouth. Yeah. He said, get a fuck out. When I say word for word, he said, get a fuck out. The whole class ah! would have gasped. Ah! The, the, class, the class would have gasped. Bro! A teacher swearing at kids? Yeah. He said, get the nah. fuck out. I was like, yeah. you said, yeah. Yeah. I couldn't get my words yeah. out. And when I tried to explain my yeah, life, yeah. you said, do that. He said, yeah. get the fuck out. Oh. I was like, bro, like, I'm, I'm in trouble. 10 seconds later, I was looking through the square window like this. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking through the square window like yeah. this. Yeah. Petrified. Yeah. I was like, bro. Oh, my mom's gonna find out. That's, bro. Yeah, that's all I would think bro, about. Bro, he's gonna ring my mom. Yeah, that's all I would think oh about. Oh my God. Ah, I remember one time, I remember one time I tried to get out of getting in trouble because um, this was back in, I wanna say primary school. Um, I, every time you get, you were bad, you would receive, um, or like a, an accumulation of being bad, accumulation of times of being bad. You receive like a letter to send to your home. Um, but obviously I would get the letter to give to my parents to read the fact that I've been bad and they have to sign it to acknowledge that they've read it, yeah, bring yeah, it yeah, back yeah, to yeah, the school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it'd be like, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone knows your, your child is a fuck up, yeah, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what I did was, I remember I got the thing, I was thinking, I know my dad's gonna beat my ass. <laughs> so yeah. how can I get away from this? Yeah, Long yeah, story yeah. short. So obviously it's the text of what the, uh, the paper's for the sign and the date and that was it. So what I did was I cut off the text and I fucked that off. And I said to my pops that you need to sign this 
for me not to go on a school trip next week that I'm going to stay in school instead. He signed it, gave it back in. I remember specifically. Oh. Yeah. I can't believe I got away with that. Bro. I cannot because I was petrified. I bet. I, James, I was petrified. I bet. Because I, I was like, I'm not I'll- getting this arse whooping. <laughs> But if I do this and I don't succeed? Yeah, double the ass. Yeah, you're gonna break your nose. Family. <laughs> I was petrified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. <clears throat> anyway. Oh, and he fucking signed it. Yeah, he signed it, yeah. I yeah. used to just take that stuff to the school forger. The school forger. Bro, the school forger, bro. Everywhere school has a forger. Professional That's forger. That's you say, what's your mom's name, bro? And they're just <laughs> Steady hand. Yeah. And I was like, bro. That's hilarious. Yeah, all the sick notes, school forger. That's hilarious, fair enough. We'd, I don't know if you had one of them. I might not have been that circle to yeah, know yeah, if you had one yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, I, all that was running through me was fear. Yeah. And I needed an easy out. That's and, that's such a smart move. <laughs> I would have thrown it in a bin. Oh no, but I'm getting clocked. Yeah, but I'm telling bel- the teacher something else. Then they will just bail my parents. I can't yeah. have that. Yeah. <laughs> James, I can't have that. Yeah, I was yeah, in like fair. year six. Yeah. I was getting beats back then as well. <laughs> you might know about my stolen yeah, one yeah, pound yeah, story yeah, getting slapped up in the shop. I was getting beaten back then. I couldn't have it, bro. I'd run away. <laughs> I tried. Yeah. I came on, got beat again. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I tried to run away. I didn't get far. I came home to beats, bro. <laughs> I couldn't get far. <laughs> Fuck, bro. It was long. Oh my god. It was long. Oh. Anyway, two more. One time where karma was a bitch to you. My door dashed through my food at the door and walked off. Immediately and accidentally, my neighbor ran him over before he got back into his car. Huh? Imagine. Huh? Imagine, bro. Jesus. I planned out everything to the most perfect detail just so I could get revenge. Then on my way to start the step one, I tripped and broke my collarbone. <laughs> wow, that's a, <laughs> that's a trip. Yeah. That's a... Fuck, oh, bro. Yeah. I remember seeing one of my boys break his collarbone in football one time. Ooh. I was like, yeah, yeah. I was screaming more than him. <laughs> How did he land? He landed literally on his shoulder. Like someone oh. um, side tackled him. And he was like, and he just like... landed like, bah. and I was like, fuck. <sighs> and he came up like, I heard, a, I heard a crack. I heard a crack. He said that. Yeah. Oh, but he wow. was in shock. Yeah, he couldn't yeah, feel any pain. Yeah. And he was just holding his arm like, I heard yeah, a fucking yeah, crack. Yeah, I heard yeah, a crack. Yeah, yeah. And the teacher was like, sit down, sit down, my shower. Because yeah, yeah. it was like a school versus school thing. Oh, okay. He was like, sit down, shower, my shower. He's like, I heard a fucking crack, bro. Yeah. And then um, he, he came back like, like this. And I was like, you good, bro? <laughs> I was like, bro, you good? Yeah. And he was like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, he was yeah. shaking. I was like, I don't know, I've, I, I've done something. Yeah. And I was like, it's calm, it's calm. I was like, just relax your shoulder, it's yeah. calm. And he went like that, he screamed and cried. He went like this, screamed and cried. Fuck. And I was like, something's broken back then i didn't even know what collar bell was yeah facts he facts. I was, and he went hospital that night yeah came back the next day so my collar was broken damn you've broken your toe right yeah i broke my skateboard you ever broken a bone i've broken my collarbone exactly that like that oh, really where yeah. when that's uh secondary school um yeah someone football went in, went in for, football went in for a tackle went over kind of like do like a front flip mm. onto your shoulder my yeah. head and yeah shoulder dropped down and yeah, the bone was just like, it didn't come out of the skin, didn't come out of the skin. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, you could just see like- You knew it was broken. I, I knew straight, snaps. I heard it as well, but yeah. <gasps> how long, oh how long was the process, God. the healing process? Um, or recovery process rather? Not that long to be fair, couple of months. Was you in like a sling in that? Yeah, 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 had it, yeah, slinged up. Damn. Oh, yeah. that exactly, sounds so exactly scary. That, exactly. How old are you, if you remember? Or what year were you in? Yeah, I wanna say nine. Damn. Yeah, Damn. Yeah. I never knew that about you. Same. Yeah. That's what I was rattled with. That's actually the second time I broke the same collarbone, actually. Oh, yeah. God. What's the first time? First time was in primary school. Um, I was ramping, you know. Kids, Standard. Yeah, year five, year six or something. And me and this kid thought it was funny to just, you know, you're just swinging each other around or whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he let go. Yeah. Fucking you flew. Go. Yeah, I flew <laughs> off. And That's how Great Tooth Mark got me. Bah. Fuck. <laughs> That's how great if Mark got me. I'm kind of bumper man. Fuck that. Ellis, you broken anything? No, I haven't actually. Uh, you're no, you're the lucky one. Yeah, I know. I'm well lucky. Not yet. Yeah, touch wood, bro. Yeah, keep chatting shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, let's take a super duper rupa quick break from this juicy woozy one million episode two. Talk to you guys and spread the word about Manscaped. Right, guys, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to unleash the 
beach beast <laughs> within you. This summer, Manscaped is here to help you level up your beach game with their new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. Let's go. I have it. We have it. We've we received it. it. Yep. It's, 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 it's comprehensive. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called, I'm not going to yeah. lie. The when packaging I'm, was nice. Yeah, yeah the yeah, packaging yeah, was yeah, nice and they gave us all the toys. They, Pause. They, yeah, yeah, they gave us everything. Pause. Right. They're going past waist deep grooming, um, past the waist deep grooming game and diving in head first to your facial hair fantasies. The alliteration mm. is mad. The Beard Hedger is a game changer, allowing you to shape your beard like a true beach babe. So this summer, let the beach balls bounce. Mm. Hey, yeah. And turn heads all over the place. Head on over to manscaped.com and use code SNG. Sierra November Golf. For 20% off and free shipping. Let's get back to the episode. Let's go. Right, guys. Um, we're back with another segment of top five, top five. Top top five, five. Top five. Top five. Tap, 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 tap. Um, what are the current scores? Seasonally, someone's got seven. Is it seven? Seven, six, two? Yes. Seven, six, two. Um, yeah. I feel like we've not done top five in a minute. Am I chatting shit? Hmm? Did we do top five last week? No, we didn't. Nah, we had Joyce last week. Yeah, that's Oh, because Joyce was here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like we've not done it in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah. You guys, you guys ready for top five this week? Yes. I guess so. Let's do it. I'm actually going to give you guys the option oh, okay. of what top five you prefer okay. to do. Okay. Oh, there's three of us to vote, so okay, cool. Yeah. 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 So that helps. We're gonna land. Yeah. You, someone's gonna land, yeah. Mm. Um you can either do one to do with social media or one to do with franchises. I'm gonna vote for And whichever one we don't do, we'll do next week. Franchises or social media? I'll say social media. Social media? I'm gonna say franchises. Franchises on your room. Social media. Social media, I say less. <laughs> cool. Nah, um, as the social media manager, I'm gonna, just gonna fuck this up. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you've dropped yourself in. Come last. <laughs> right, top five, easy. The top five most followed Instagram accounts. Wow, okay. <laughs> fuck. <sighs> okay. Shits and geeks. Um, hey! He was another one. LA got a brand new Benzino, he was another. Cunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a joke. Sick. I, I need to speak to the to, to the delegator. I, I need to, <laughs> what? Um, I, I know you're gonna know who I'm talking about. Okay. I, let me. Can I just? I'll WhatsApp you from here. You'll know who I mean when I say that. When I say what I'm saying. Um, I won't be going from Google to search or anything like that. Okay. To any other ideas? But I'll message you on on WhatsApp right now. Okay. If that's cool. Okay. If okay because because you've forgotten the name. Because I've forgotten the name. I know. Yeah, I, I've forgotten her name. Okay. And I know you'll just, you'll, you'll know who I'm talking about. If okay. I'm, right. I'll wait for the message. Right. Cool. I'm going to WhatsApp right now. You've gotten the first name. So I've given you the second name. Yeah. Right there. Uh, wait, but I'm, I've forgotten the first name. I'm going to tell you the first, I'm going to tell you the rest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. You, so from process of elimination, from that. I know who you you're know, talking about. You know who about. I'm talking about. There's, there's only, I know exactly there's who you're talking about. There's literally yeah. only one person. Yeah, right. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. You know who I'm talking about. But you just can't remember the name. Fam? Right. I can't even. All right, cool. We're all locked, clearly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. Ellis, give us your top five. So, Kim Kardashian, Drake, Champagne Puppy. <laughs> nice. I didn't even think of Drake. Yeah. Wow. I didn't think of Drake. Um, I've gone for NASA. I feel like NASA. that'd be quite a big followed one. Okay. Fair enough. Like you think outside yeah, the box. Yeah, sometimes, bro. Yeah, you really do think outside the box. Mm. I appreciate it. Uh, Kendall Jenner. And then I fumbled on this one. I just bought Apple. I had fucking no idea. Damn, that. you hate Instagram, innit? <laughs> uh, Jimmy. Right. So I've done Ronaldo, yep. Messi. This one, I know at one point she had the highest Twitter. So I've just, I've just charged it and put Ariana Grande. Uh, Kim Kardashian. And Kylie Jenner. <laughs> Is that his thing? Yeah. <laughs> he couldn't think of the name for um, his life. Oh, was that yours? Couldn't think of it. I've got, I've got all of her sisters, bro. I'm writing all her sisters' name, names down like I watched the fucking show. <laughs> couldn't think of her name. Rem? Kim Kardashian. Beyonce. Ah, oh, Beyonce. Yeah, that's a shout. Mr. Beast. Taylor Swift. Tay Swizzy. Solid shout. And Kylie Jenner. So number 10 with 311 million subs or followers, Khloe Kardashian. Okay. Number nine, 315 million, Beyonce. Uh, number eight, 
number seven with 377 million, Ariana Grande. Oh, wow. oh that Sh- pissed me off. Shout. Number six with 388 million, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I was gonna put The Rock, I put Ariana over The Rock as well. Number five with 398 million, Kylie Jenner. Cool. Which, obviously you wrote, when you messaged it to me, I knew you were thinking of specifically, but when you wrote Kardashian, I was thinking he's never gonna get it because you wrote Kardashian instead of Jenner. But I knew who we were trying to, do you know what I mean? When you wrote all of them down, I knew you were gonna say. Uh, so that's one a pop? Uh, yeah, one a pop. Boom, boom. Um, number four, with 426 million, Selena Gomez. Jesus. Shoot. I knew she was up there, fuck. Yeah. Didn't think about it. Number three, with 479 million, Lionel Messi. Guy! Mm, of course. Um, and number two, with 597 million so far, Cristiano Ronaldo. With alcohol is, is what you need on these. Told you, conviction. Yeah. Gives me conviction, bro. And last but not least, with 649 million followers, the highest followed Instagram account is Instagram. Oh, touche. Oh, for God's sake. Touche. Please. Kim K's not even in the top 10. Kim K that is- That surprises me. Oh, did I not say Kim K? No. no. Oh, she's number eight, sorry. Oh, right. I yeah, I was that. gonna say, you you went from, you went 10, nine, and then you went to- Did I say seven? You didn't, I don't think you said eight, seven, or six. Oh, I didn't say the numbers, but I just said the names. I don't know. I don't oh, but said... sorry, my bad, Kim K is eight. I, oh, if I okay. missed out, I'm sorry. Oh, Kim K yeah, is number yeah, eight, yeah, 363 yeah. million. Um, let me see if Kim K, Mr. Beast is, is he on this list? It was a long shot. Mr. Beast then on this list. Tay Swizzy is number 15, mm. 268. Yeah. Apple is not on the list. NASA is on the list though. Well played. 38, but still fair play, 94 million. I knew they were fair. Well fucking high. played. Is Apple on the list? What's Drake? Drake is number 31, 140 million. Well, so far. But yeah, well fair. played. Uh, so that is eight points, six points, two points. Two. GG's. And that was top Gang, five. Gang, I'm happy about that. That was top five, top five, top five. Top five, top five, top five. Right, I have a dilemma for us today. Ooh, let's go. This is like a mild one, but it's a good topic for discussion. Okay. Mild one, and it, it, it brings us back on this Millie special, it brings us back to our roots about the kind of dilemmas that we used to chat about. Okay. Before it all got a bit too like out of control. Yeah, 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 okay. Right, cool. So the title of this is Sneaky Link Keeps Saying He Loves Me During Sex. Did you get this one as I well? I got it, but I didn't read it. All so right. I saw that title, but I didn't read it. So right, gang. Gang, 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 gang. Right. Hi guys. I've been seeing this guy casually for about three months. We don't really talk other than when I uh, go out and see him to do up sexy time. He is a very attractive and well-known rugby player in my city. For context, uh, I'm pretty sure this girl's from South Africa. So okay. rugby's a thing over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just for context. Okay. <clears throat> he's a very attractive one on rugby player in my city and I've always assumed that he's seeing other girls for this reason. Recently, he invited me to hang out with his mates and their girlfriends and I went and had heaps of fun but was also very confused because I thought we were just a casual and on the down low, um, I thought we were just a casual and on the down low kind of uh, thing and I kind of preferred it that way because my city is small okay. and I'm seeing someone else as well. Okay. On this night, in brackets, he was drunk. He said he loved me while we were having sex. Yeah. And I ignored it because I thought it was just in the throes of passion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he said it just in the throes yeah, of passion. I love you. I love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you. <laughs> Grab her face. I love I you. Love, I fucking love you. Yeah. Open your mouth. I love you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I fucking I love, love you. you. Yeah. Open your mouth, man. Yeah. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> oh. Say back. Yeah. <laughs> right. I thought it was <laughs> uh, just in the throes of passion, mm. but it happened again and he said it twice. And again, I ignored it because we definitely don't know each other well enough to be saying all that. Damn. The thought of it, uh, the thought of talking to him about it yeah. uh, makes me physically ill. From a guy's perspective, is he just saying shit to make me obsessed with him? This is a, that last question really, really intrigued me because it made me realize that like girls really do just think different shit. Yeah, 
Yeah. Is he saying this to, <laughs> to make, make me obsessed, obsessed with him? him? No, he's just saying it because he's in the moment. Yeah. He, he might not necessarily... I, I obviously feel like he's saying this out of uh, the lust of the moment. I don't genuinely think he's in love with you. I just think at that at that height, at that peak, there's nothing else to say, but fuck, I love you when I'm in this tomb. You know what I mean? So yes, I think that, I don't think he's saying it to confuse you. What did she say to, to what? Do you to make her fall in yeah, love? Uh, uh, to make, um, to make me obsessed with him. Yeah, no, no, Bro, no, no, no guy does guys that. Don't think guys like don't that. think Unless like Unless they're that. like class A manipulators. Yeah, yeah They don't that. think about like, I'm doing this so she'll get obsessed with yeah, me. Yeah, no. Like, why, why would I want you obsessed with Facts. me? Facts, I don't think guys want that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm already clapping the cheeks yeah. on a regular basis. Yeah, why do I need obsessed, to take yeah. it the next step? Yeah, so I don't think, um, personally anyway, I genuinely don't think he's saying that to make you obsessed with him. Yeah, He's just saying it because it's in the heat He's buried in the top. And the thing is with like, like for context, this girl's kind of bad. Okay. Um, so that just adds to the the mix. Okay. She's slightly bad. Um, he's getting put on a casual. Yeah. But you're already seeing someone else as well, which means you're not giving him the time of day. You've already yeah. said you don't really speak to him unless you're banging. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's it. You don't really speak to him unless you're having sex. You said he's a well-known rugby player, so he probably already gets a lot of a go attention, and you just use him for pipe. So why is she asking the? So I felt. It's one of them was, I feel like she... Hmm. What I'm saying is I can see why he's saying it. Because I assume he thinks he likes her way more than he actually does. Because this is a banging girl yeah. who just sees him to bang and then doesn't chat to him. And then she'll message him again when she's ready to bang again yeah. and it doesn't chat to him again. My question to her is why is she questioning whether the fact he's saying this to make her obsessed with him when she only hollers him for sex, she's seen someone else. Like he's, she said he obviously has other girls. So why would she think? So I'm assuming, just again, could be a hot take. I'm assuming she's asking that question because she's thinking he wants to, he's saying this, so I'm locked him. down oh, for him, okay. solely for him. So he can carry on doing what he's doing, yeah. but he knows that I'm not doing anything else because he's trying to pattern up exclusivity. Yeah, but considering she's, by the context of this conversation or, or how she DM'd it, it seems as if she has somewhat of control of how they bang and when and where they bang, considering she hollers him. Yeah, but I'm just saying she hollers him. I don't know. Oh, I thought that was verbatim. No, 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 no. Okay, no, no, okay, no, no, okay. No, no, no. I take that back. I thought it was verbatim. Okay, my bad. I don't know then. But I genuinely don't think he's... he. I genuinely don't think he's saying this so you can fall for him or make yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, I think he's- Guys don't do that. He's gassing, yeah. What guys do do is- They gas, gas the moment, themselves, they just say stuff. Yeah, they gas themselves up in the moment when they say yeah. stuff and they also don't like when girls treat them like their meat. They, we, we like it for a small amount yeah, of time. Cause it is sexy. Yeah, cause like it's that, banging. Yeah. But then after a few months, yeah. it's like, you actually don't care about me. <laughs> like you actually don't care about me and it's mad. Yeah. So then they, they like, they think they like you. We think, well, we think we like you more than we actually yeah, do because we, we actually don't know that we've got you. Um, I'm not, I'm not ready to drop um, L bars, but this whole like um, bringing you out with his brethren and their missus and mm. all them things like that. Yeah, I've never done that, but I can see like a case of like, mm. does, does this girl even like me or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah I hear that, okay. Um, okay. Sometimes guys can do the most, but the love you thing, I've been in some cheeks and I've, I've said some stuff. I don't think I've ever- I've never run that bar. I don't think I've, unless it's like with a girl I'm seeing like my girlfriend at the time, but I don't think there's any like link or whatever. I've been banging and said, I love you. I've love never you. said, I love you the first time in cheeks. Oh, definitely. I've not. said it when I'm drunk. Definitely not. No, I've no. said it when I'm drunk. I swear, what, like not in cheeks, just like on a dance floor? Nah, no, not in person. <laughs> oh. Over text. On the dance floor. I've just had I to know clarify. Those wine. I just had to clarify. Oh, imagine. I had to clarify. Yeah, you oh, imagine. <laughs> nah, on like a way back from the club. Okay. McDonald's, she's all I can think about. Okay. Yeah, she's all I can think yeah, about. Yeah. I didn't see a girl tonight. Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. see anyone but gargoyles yeah, yeah, yeah. on that dance floor tonight. I want you. Yeah. I love you. Okay. I okay. fucking love you. Okay, okay, okay. So then I wake up and think, oh, why did I say why, that? Yeah, oh God. Why did I say yeah, that, bro? Because yeah, yeah. all she replied was pre eyes. Why did I say that, bro? Why did I give her my heart like yeah, that? Cause yeah. Cause I'm in a pocket. Yeah, facts. It's just these drunk inhibitions, bro. Yeah. <laughs> these drunk inhibitions. Right. But yeah, so that one's a mad one, but yeah, you, you need to nip it in the bud. You do, you do. Um, considering, I feel like it's just one of them ones where you, I feel like you want to, 
you want to believe more than what he says with the I love you things. It's just, just take it as he's saying stuff whilst we're fucking. Yeah, just and take he, it as that. I would, I would go as far to say as he thinks he wants more with you than he actually does. Yeah. So keep it, keep yeah, it keep as it, it is. If you're happy it, as it is, keep yeah, it as it is. Yeah, because yeah, 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 he's going to want to push and push and push it more yeah. until he knows for a fact that like you're down for him. Yeah. And once he knows that for a solidified fact, He'll bring it as casual as you. He'll, he'll just yeah. stop replying. Yeah. So once you're locked in, he'll stop replying. Yeah. Just keep it as casual. Try and hold as much control as you can for your own sanity and dignity. I guess. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. It's, it's true. Fam. It's true, bro. That's that's the bar of the evening. It's just true. Um. Yeah. Right. Okay. Cool. You've got the number to finish us off as well. Yes, sir. Help me smash, gang. So I'm 23, female. I've oh, gang! I was 99 percent certain this was a prayer. And I've been good, good friends with this man, 34, for about three years. We text all day, speak on the phone, uh, speak on the phone a lot, have TV shows we watch together, very close relationship. He has a girl. Been with her 10 years oh. and often tells me that he knows she's not his soulmate. She's boring and not physically his type anymore. But they've got a mortgage, a dog, and he can't be asked with the hassle of ending it all. He told me she doesn't know about me because if she saw what I looked like, she'd be suspicious. So he just hides his phone and she works nights. So calls he calls me, sees me then. Anyway, I need to fuck. I've fully been trying, uh, I've fully been trying for like six months now and I don't know where I'm going wrong. I've fucked older married men with kids easier than this. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> he's not hugely flirty but we talk slash joke about sex etc and he'll ask uh, he'll ask me for advice for he'll ask me for advice on other girls he finds attractive question mark question mark so he cheats <laughs> <laughs> or he's at, or he's willing to at least he compliments me and is real and is real with me about my appearance etc I even um, if I ever have to ask him he gets gassed when I wear my glasses, starts calling me trouble and it, and it kills me. However, <laughs> however, he has never had a single drink around me and point blank refuses to, as he says bad things will happen and he can't risk it. Even once said that I regret it in nine months with the pre eyes. Oh. How do I move to this man? I've I've been subtle this whole time, but do I just send him nudes or some shit? I thought he had found ah! the same thing. I've been subtle, but all I said is nudes. How do I move to him? I thought that's what he said. All right, but I, what do I send him nudes? Um, for context, we work together and are both managers of different departments. So I always have tension, sly laughs in meetings. Like we have some dirty secret and it fucking turns me on. We're both leaving at the end of July and he wants to do some big night out together and with everyone get hotels for etc. Is this my chance? 100%. Please help. You don't need to finish. 100%. That's the chance. That's the moment. That's the moment. <laughs> Please help. I can't explain how much I want him to destroy me. Literally on my phone to him writing this laugh out loud. The need is too strong. Thank you. Oh, Say for that, Rem. Rem said that one to me. Really? Yeah. Uh, she tidy. I haven't seen the picture. It was an email. It's Patreon. It's an email. Patreon. 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 He sent it to me via email, but yeah, it was a Patreon yeah, yeah. one. Yeah, I, hey, I don't know what she looks like. Yeah. I don't know what she looks like. That made me itch, bro. Oh. Do you need a do you need a recap? Or do you No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make this no, up. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> yeah, Daddy sees it all in 4K. <laughs> <laughs> um bro, bro. The tension will make my hair stand on edge. Uh, sexual tension is the one. It's yeah. The so the one. right, um, he wants to bang you. Oh, of course he He's does. He's given such obvious vibes that he of wants to he bang does. her. Of course he does. It's not even funny. Yeah. A man's complimenting on her looks. Facts. Said you'll regret it in nine months. Yeah. Don't wear those glasses. You're trouble. Yeah. Like he wants to bang. Talking about okay, cool. One thing, one thing you can say for a fact. Yeah. Is that if a guy, which is also in my books, like this is unforgivable behavior. Yeah. Slagging off the love of your oh, life. Oh, that doesn't run. Bro, yeah, yeah, talking yeah. shit on your wife. To the girl you're to trying this, to court. To this whatever. bitch? No, yeah, 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 never yeah. runs. Yeah. She is a whore yeah. and this is your life. life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, stop. Yeah. Talk it, if a guy's ever willing to talk shit on his wife to you, 
One, he one million percent wants to bang. And it's a red flag. And two, it's a screeching red flag. Red flag. He's a yeah. weak man. Yeah. He's a weak, weak man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So flag. that red flag fucked this guy from that jump. Yeah. No anyway, yeah. yeah, he wants to bang you. He's down to bang you. Yeah. Um, if you don't want to wait until this whole flipping night outing, night outing yeah. head into the toilets, bend over the sink and take a pick, ride that skirt up and take a pick. Send it to him. Send it to him. See how quick he gets in Say there. Say you've got 30 seconds to get here. He, he'll be there in four seconds. <laughs> I couldn't receive that. Do you think I could? <laughs> I couldn't receive Do you think I could? that in the office. With the red lace. Glasses on, them trouble glasses on. The red lace. Bent over the sink. I, just, yeah, yeah, I couldn't receive that. Oh God. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I'd fall over on the yeah. way. Yeah, workplace sexual tension scary. is is a scary, scary thing. Scary. We've all been stuff. there. I feel like everyone's been there, but it's 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 so. Scary. It's literally the only tolerable thing about working in an office. Facts. It's the only thing you Facts. can stand it about gets working you in an office. The day. Yeah. <laughs> and if she's not in, <laughs> oh, torment, bro. Just, why am I in work? Called in sick. Yeah. Why am I here? Yeah, bro. I'm done. I don't need to make money today. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. yeah. percent. Charge yeah. this day. Yeah, facts. Let me go home to the love of my life. <laughs> This is stupid. Why I'm am I bored. here, bro? I'm bored. Oh, worst days when she's not in. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Oh, bro. I said he wants to smash. He wants to smash. He's gonna smash he you. Smash. So you can either do it now or you can wait. I don't know what you're concerned about. I will give him a t like 1% of props to the fact that he refuses to drink around you. Fact. That's interesting. Yeah, because he knows. Because he, he actually will, yeah. knows he, he will, will take do you it. down, yeah. So he doesn't sound like he's too proud about it. Yeah. Um, but one minute, as soon as he starts slagging off the love of his life, That's I poor promise you, it's poor from him and he's down to cheat. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, fuck that guy. Um, but anyway, guys. Slightly different episode today. Yes, I know it's not exactly what you guys are used to. I appreciate if you made it this far. We really, really appreciate you. Again, yes, thank you so much for a million. Yes, um, after this point, I honestly, <laughs> like, I, I want, obviously we're gonna want 2 million, 5 million, yeah. 10 million, well, but at yeah. the end of the day, I will never, ever, ever ask anything else. Yeah, man. Obviously yeah. we're gonna do the usual, subscribe to the channel, etc. Yeah, but yeah, like yeah. in terms of goals and all this kind of stuff, like, Guys, you've done it for us. Yeah. We've completed our mission yeah. and we couldn't- We couldn't be happier, man. Could not be happier. It's crazy. Um, so again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank so you. Much. Um, if you want to see us on Thursday, head on over to patreon.com forward slash shits and gigs. Yes, and as always, love, love, love. Gang, gang, gang. Gang.